Hi, this is Mrs. Corner, and we are going to be doing a lesson today on subtracting with ungrouping. First of all, my students have done a little review for us, and let's look at a few of these points here when you have a large number and you take away a smaller amount. That's what my students decided was subtraction. So we'll start out with small with some smaller numbers, kind of looking at some of the strategies we use. We will pop the smaller number in our heads and count on. So on this one, I would pop the five in my head and then I would count on six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I can see that that is seven. I could have even done that on my fingers. And so I know that that is seven by doing that. For larger numbers, we need to keep place value and use our strategies again, starting in the ones and taking five minus four. I could pop the four in my head and count on one, and that would give me the ones column. Now I look at the tens. Yep, three minus one is two. We can do that easily. And so our answer is 21. Now we're going to look at subtracting using money to help us begin to understand why we would have to ungroup. My next slide is set up. It's all set up with some money. And this is what I've represented with the dollars are $33. So I have three tens and three ones, just like in the number 33. Now, if I had $33 in my wallet and somebody said, could you please give me $14? I'd say, sure, 14 is smaller than 33. But I'd say, oh goodness, I don't have the ones. Let me see if somebody could give me $10 in exchange for a ten, my $10 bill. So what I would do is give that to someone. And on the next slide, I've gotten my 10 ones all sorted out so you don't have to see me make them. And there we are. Now, I'd say, hmm, first of all, let's prove we still have $33 to begin with before I give the person 14. 10, 20, and then here's my 30. And I have one, two, three. So yes, I still have my $33. These, this money on the side was just for me to create the money with. So now I wanna give away $14. This one's already gone, so we don't wanna think about that one. Let's take a look and give away 10. And now we're gonna give away the person the 14. One, two, three. That's the 10, and now I have to give four more. So this 10 and these four were my 14 that I gave away. And now we want to see how much do we have left. And I've got one 10, so that's going to be my 10. And I've got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine single dollars. So I have $19. That's what my money says over here. Now we're going to look at our problem and see if we can come up with that same answer to make sense for us. What we're going to do is just like we did over here, I'm going to take away, I'm going to make that three tens into two tens. So I'm going to take one of them and make this into a 13. So I'm going to cross this off and say now I've got 13 ones. Now all we have to do is agree like we did with the money is that two tens and 13 ones equals 33. So 10, 20, 30, one, two, three. Yes, it does. Now, 13 minus four, I know that that is nine. And two minus one, two tens minus one ten is one ten. So 19, proving it with money, and solving it with my place value. Both ways worked. 
We'll be practicing this in school using our money to trade and ungroup and then subtract. Another one, $51 minus $25. Sure, I can give you $25. Here's the one, 10, here's 20. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I don't have this one. I'm going to have to quick make some change, right? So I'm going to take this and X that out. And instead of, um, now I'm going to come over here and get my 10 more. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this one turned into those 10. So we want to agree that we still have $50. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 40. So that's 10 plus 1. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 1. Yep. Now I can give away 25. So let's give that away. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's see what we have left. 10, 20, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I have $26 left. That little dot and the dollar sign lets me know that I'm dealing with money. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. Cross out the five. I had to take one of my $10 bills and make it into 10 ones. So this I'm going to actually, now I have 11 ones. So I took my 10 and put it into the ones column. So 40, 51. Yep, I still have 51. Now we can subtract. 11 minus 5 is 6. And 4 minus 2 is 2. And we got the same answer. We're going to go on and show this using 10 blocks and um, place value blocks, we call them, a, or base 10 blocks. This is 33, just like my money situation, but now we're going to actually um, do the same thing, just like with the $10 bill and the $1 bills. Uh, 33, I can't take four, 4 away from 3, but I can trade this in. So I'm going to come on over here, I'm going to get rid of one of these, and I'm going to turn it into 10 of these little blocks. One, two, three, four, five, I'll just put it next to it, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now. So I got rid of the 10 and I got 10 ones. I still have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. Now I can get rid of 14. I can give it away. Let's do that. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I just want to count. I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then I can write it. That's exactly what I have. I have 19, but I don't need the dollar sign because I'm not dealing with money anymore. Doing the same thing here. I'm going to just cross off that 3 and make it a 2. Sorry, it's kind of big. A 2 because that's what I had. And then I'm going to cross off that 3 and put the 10 there so I have to make it into a 13. And in class, we're going to start to say, oh, that little baby 3 grew up to be a 13. So when we added the 10, it did change it, but it doesn't change the original number. It's just too big. Um, okay, so now 13 minus 4 is 9, and 2 minus 1 is 1. And I can check this back again. 9 plus 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep, 1 plus 1 is 2. I can always... Check my subtraction by adding. The last pattern block example that we're going to do 
is um, 62 minus 37. I look here, first of all, can I subtract 7 from 2? Nope. So I need to ungroup, because if I ungroup it, I'm going to still have a 62, but it's going to be a little bit different, and it'll be easy to subtract. So let's take this one and turn it into the 10. Now I can subtract. I can take 37 away. So here's what I'm going to do with my little thing. I'm going to pull them all the way over here. 10, 20, 30, and I'm going to bring seven of them over. One, two, three, four. And we'll be doing this in class with the actual pattern block. Now let's count and see how many we have left. Remember, this one's gone. I've got 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. The answer using the pattern blocks is 25. Now let's try it with this. Let's ungroup that. Now instead of 6, I had 5. I took 10 from this one and added it on here. So I get my little 12, and I want to write the whole 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. And my two answers match up, so I know I'm right. And let's check again. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. 3 plus 2 is 5. We can do it. We'll be practicing in class. Remembering... We'll look at these steps. First of all, do I need to ungroup? Look at the ones. If I need to ungroup, I'll trade or ungroup 110 into 10 ones and then subtract the ones and then subtract the tens. And you'll be using your pad, your base 10 blocks and money to practice in class tomorrow. Thanks for watching.